Good morning Year 3, it's Wednesday the 20th of May, I hope you're all well. Uh, today's maths learning task is I can add and subtract maths. Now when we do adding and subtracting in class we might model a few different methods to you and then you choose the one that suits you more. It might be the column addition, the column subtraction, it might be using part part whole method or the number line, a uh, blank number line and counting on. It's up to you to choose the method that you you are confident with but I'm going to be demonstrating the number line to you okay we're going to start off by with subtraction and I've got one kilogram and I want to subtract I want to take away 250 grams now I need to convert my kilogram first because I'm not it wouldn't make sense if I did one take away 250 because obviously they've got different units of measurement so the first thing I need to do is convert my one kilogram to a thousand grams. Hopefully you remember that that is what one kilogram means. So therefore I've got 1000 grams take away 250 grams. Now to do this I'm going to be doing the a, a number line, a blank number line and counting on. So I'm going to be using the inverse of subtraction which is addition and then so I'm going to be adding and counting up. If you prefer to use part, part, whole, that is absolutely fine, okay? I wouldn't suggest using column subtraction just because of the amount of zeros and then the amount of times you have to carry. It gets a bit tricky. So I'm going to be using a blank number line. You can either do this alongside me or pause it and have a go first and then check whether you're right, as we would in, in class, or just watch for the first time until you're confident. So on my number line, I'm going to be starting with the lowest of 250 grams and then I'm going to be counting up all the way until I get to a thousand. So 250, I'm going to do the next easy jump for me would be to get to 300 grams and that's using a jump of 50 grams. Then from 300 grams I'm going to get to 500 grams which is a jump of 200 grams. I'm then going to go from 500 grams to a thousand grams, which is a jump of 500 grams. Then I'm gonna add up my jumps, 500, add 200 is 700, 750. So 1,000 take away 250 is 750 grams. And to go back to answer my original question, one kilogram take away 250 grams is 750 grams. Hopefully you got that right. Let's have a look at the next one. Okay, let's have a look at this one. So we have quite simply got seven kilograms, take away something equals five kilograms. If I was gonna do this on a number line, what number would I start at the beginning of my number line? What would I jump up in? And what would my end number be? Okay, have a go. Okay, I would start with five kilograms and I would count up until I got to seven kilograms. Now I don't need to convert these because they are both in the same unit of measure. If one was grams and one was kilograms, then I would need to convert, but seeing as they're both in kilograms, I can keep them the same. So I'm at five kilograms. I'm gonna add on two kilograms because five add two equals seven. So seven kilograms take away two kilograms is five kilograms. Okay, this question now, we've got something, take away 150 grams equals 675 grams. So notice the units of measurements are the same, so I don't need to do anything. And I've started my blank number line with 675 grams because I will then have to use the inverse and I'm gonna add on 150 grams. So 675 grams, add 150 grams, will give me this missing number. Okay, have a think about why that would be. All right, so I'm gonna add on my 100 grams first. Add my 100 grams would be 775 grams. I'm then going to add on 25 grams because that takes me to 800 grams. And then I've got, so I've, done already 125 and so I only need another 25 grams so I'm going to add on another 25 grams sorry the lights on the whiteboard there 25 grams to so take me to 825 grams okay let me put my arm 
answer in there and I'm just going to double check that that number, the number I've started with, is obviously greater than my answer because obviously it's a subtraction. If your answer you put here was less than your answer, you know you've gone wrong somewhere because your answer, sorry, this answer must be less than the number that you have started with. Okay. Okay, our next question is five kilograms take away three kilograms and 700 grams. So you can pause this video, have a go yourself and then check back in or we can do it together now. Okay, so we're using our, num blank, our blank number line and we're going to do the inverse of subtraction which is addition and we're going to start with the lowest which is three kilograms, 700 grams and then add on until we get to five kilograms. I'm going to convert my five kilograms to 5,000 grams and my three kilograms and 700 grams is 3,700 grams because hopefully you've remembered that there's a thousand grams in one kilogram. If you're unsure of this or you've missed previous lessons, it might be worth watching Monday's lesson so you get confident about how many grams are in kilograms and what we're talking about really, about what mass is. So if you if you are finding this a bit tricky or you're unsure of the grams and kilograms, watch Monday's video and do Monday's lesson instead. Okay, and you can catch up with this at a different point. So for those of you that are with me, we're starting 3,700 grams. We're gonna jump 300 grams until we get to 4,000 grams. And then quite simply, 4,000, <laughs> we've jumped 1,000 grams, 1,000 grams being one kilogram, until we've got to 5,000. So we're gonna add up our grams, uh, uh, add up our jumps, and we've done 1,300. 1,300 um, grams, which is the same as saying one kilogram, 300 grams okay which is our answer to five kilogram take away three kilograms 700 grams is one kilogram 300 grams or 1300 grams whichever way you want to write it okay let's have a go at this one we've got one kilogram and 200 grams take away something is 900 grams pause the video have a go and check back in Right, so we're starting at 900 grams. We're going to be using the inverse of takeaway, of subtract, which is addition. And we're going to be adding on until we get to one kilogram, 200 grams. Okay, I could convert it for 1,200 grams or I could keep it the same. For this instance, just so I can demonstrate the difference, I'm going to keep it the same. So 900 grams, I'm going to add on 100 grams until I get to one kilogram, because I know that there's a thousand grams in one kilogram, therefore 900 of 100 is a thousand, which is the same as one kilogram. Now I'm at one kilogram, I've simply only got to go 200 grams until I get to my destination, one kilogram, 200 grams. So I'm gonna count up how many have I've jumped. 200 add 100 is 300. So one kilogram and 200 take away 300 grams is 900 grams. Okay, if I was wanting you to solve a problem like this, just take a few moments to have a look at this number line and think what it's asking you to do. Okay, we've got our missing number at the start of our number line. And then it's saying that we've jumped, we've added seven kilograms, 200 grams until we've got to 10 kilograms. So what would our number sentence be? Can you have a think? Can you maybe write it down? Pause the video, have a go yourself. Or if you're unsure, unpick it with me. Okay, so let's think about our number sentence. We have added seven kilograms, 200 grams. So I'm gonna do 7,200 grams until we have got to 10,000 grams. 10 kilograms being 10,000 grams. Okay, so another way that we can do this is we can do the takeaway. We start with 10,000 grams and we've taken away 7,200 grams and we've got what as our answer. 
okay? So we're gonna add on, we're gonna start at 720 grams, 7,200 grams, sorry. I'm gonna use our blank number line until we get to 10,000, as we did on the ones before, okay? So 7,200, I'm gonna add on a jump of 300 until it gets to 7,500 grams. I'm then gonna do a 500 grams until we get to 8,000. Lots of zeros at this point. And then we're gonna do a jump of 2,000 until we get to 10,000. Then I'm gonna add up my jumps, 2,500, uh, 800, so 2,800. So our answer would be 2,800 add 7,200 is 10,000 because 10,000 take away to 7,200 is 2,800. So this missing number at the start of our number line, because remember with addition, it doesn't matter which way round they go. Okay, which is why I've done the number line there. If I've gone through that a little bit fast, why don't you re-watch it, rewind it, watch it again and see if that makes sense. See if you can unpick this a little bit more to be able to solve it. Maybe you can come up with one yourself. Over to you now, year three. It's time to put into practice everything that you have learned in this intro. Um, if you are struggling a little bit with these adding and subtracting the number lines, just set yourself or ask a grown-up to set you some adding and subtracting problems and just have a go at finding the difference using a number line and adding up. If you feel that little bit more confident or you want that more of a challenge, have a look at the attached worksheets on the website. You don't need to print them out, you can just reference them and work them out in your workbook. We've got the usual do it and twist it and solve it challenges for you. Um, on the do it, we've got the blank number, they've got the number lines as we've just been demonstrating together. And I've actually written on your number lines what number you need to start with and where you are adding up to get to. And I've done that with all of the first three. Number four and five, kind of word problems that you will need to draw out your own number line and work out what number you start with and what you count up until you get. I've then got um, some questions on the twist it and then also some, some more challenges for the solve it if you wish to do it. Okay, have a good go, do your best, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a good day.